um, representation from their public reps in parliament to be able to to be able to speak for them. So I think that that oversight matter is very important, and I think it's something that we need to see, we need to look into. And I and I know Honourable Winkler spoke about KZN, and we had recently KZN. I think was the last one where we went to with Howick Falls or not. But the point is that there's no shortfall of places which we can go to. The second matter, uh, 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 Honourable. Uh, chair, which touches a little bit onto this, is, is that we need to have an engagement with many of these industry uh, uh, players, small people in particular, small, small business players who are hardest hit by lockdown. Some of them, their businesses went under. Some of them are just surviving. But I don't think that we have provided really a solid platform for many of these small enterprises and small businesses in the tourism sector who have been running for some time, creating jobs and adding to the value chain to be able to speak to us as a portfolio committee and in essence speak to parliament. So uh, uh, every, single, every single thing of ours is tailored around necessarily um, the department, what are our, our, our thoughts, so whether it's got to do with police and maybe the failure of police in previous portfolio committees, water, health, water and sanitation, etc. Everything, everything which is go specifically directly government related in terms of what is government services providing to provide infrastructure. But the very people who are in the tourism business, the, the people who are delivering uh, um, products and services that people are buying and that people come for, we haven't actually had a chance where we really engage them as a portfolio committee. And I think that it would be really a miss of us um, in the current times that we're in, in the current struggles that they're having, if we don't put that, if we don't put that on the agenda, and that's something that's going to be on the agenda immediately uh, uh, um, within this uh, first term, um, and so something like that can also be fed into some kind of an oversight or whatnot, and even and you can even do it more than once because you can have it even as an oversight, um, or you can be able uh, uh, um, to do something that invites uh, those small players even on virtual platforms right now. And, you know, and, and, and people will be angry and people will uh, have all sorts of thoughts about how things perhaps are managed and how things should be managed going forward. But I think it's important for us as public representatives to receive that. And I'd like to ask that that also be placed on, uh, uh, um, well, on the agenda and on the program necessarily for this first term. Thank you very much, Chair. Thanks, Honorable Gumbi. Honorable Motega. Dr. Motega. It doesn't look like we've got Honorable Motega. Uh, can we go to Honorable Gumba? Aus Melina. Thank you very much. Gumba oh, Gumba. Thank you very much, Honorable Chair, and uh, compliments of the new year for, to the members of the committee. Honorable Chair, um, I would love to agree with the program that was presented uh, by Honorable Botina, by Mr. Botina, and also. Um, agree with the oversight visit, but I would love to believe that our oversight visit must be um, in Limpopo, as you have said it, but also agree, I, I propose that we also consider playing an oversight role to the areas which were having incomplete projects from the previous financial years and still uncompleted, so that we can visit them and be able to play an, a, a, a full oversight role uh, that will also give us the opportunity to get the monitoring and evaluation uh, reports on those on those un incomplete um, tourism destinations that money was spent on. So it is only not going to be about them entrepreneurship, but also about our tourism destinations where money was spent and incompleted. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Gumbi. Honorable Gumba, sorry, sorry. Uh, I like Honorable Gumbi too much. Uh, Honorable Mpushe, push, push. 
It's your it's your turn thanks, now. Uh, thanks, Jefferson. Uh, good morning, uh, Chair, and compliments of the season to you and the honorable members and our support staff. Uh, Chair, mine would be to support the presented uh, program with the addition that we must conduct oversight. Uh, then we will be presented before we, 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 we conduct the oversight with the highlights of our focus when we visit. Um, that will be all chairperson from my side. Thanks. I fully support thanks, um, the program. Thanks, thanks, Honorable Push Push. And that the hello. Honorable Gallo, Honorable April, Honorable Miyeni, Honorable T.S. Clego. Is Honorable Moteka back? Uh, let me see in the participants here. Yeah? Honorable Moteka here. Uh, uh, thank you, Chairperson. Uh, greetings, uh, honorable members uh, of the Portfolio Committee on Tourism. And I must also say compliments of the new year uh, to all of us as members of the Portfolio Committee and also give warm welcome to Honorable uh, Winkler Shamina, uh, who's joining us as, mem as a member of the Portfolio Committee. Honorable uh, Chairperson, uh, I would also want to uh, agree and uh, with the proposed program as outlined by our Secretariat, Mr. Mr. Boltina. What is very important to me, which I can highlight uh, in this program, is the fact that uh, they've put in the slot where they are inviting the department to come in and share with us the recent launched uh, tourism equity fund so that we can uh, go into detail or the department can go into detail and then we can also understand all the aspects of the, of the, of the, of the fund and then we can also be able to uh, ensure that in our own constituencies, we are able to encourage uh, tourism establishments to look into using this or utilizing these uh, resources that government is putting forth to ensure that it revives tourism and ensures that businesses within tourism are grown and uh, there are new avenues and new entrants into the tourism value chain and tourism uh, product development. I want to appreciate uh, uh, that particular uh, slotting of uh, the department coming in and I am hoping we will have a fruitful engagement with the department where we'll be able to understand all the uh, aspects that goes into uh, this uh, tourism equity fund and how best it can uh, be able to uh, work for our own people. Otherwise, Chairperson, I'm in agreement with the proposed program, and I would also uh, put forth that I uh, believe it's a workable program uh, that would uh, be taking, is, taking us as the People's Portfolio Committee on Tourism towards a process that says we are doing our oversight responsibilities and our, du and our duties in a manner which says public representatives should be doing in order to ensure that uh, the tourism uh, space or the tourism sector is oversighted by us and the department de uh, by us as we do even to the department. Uh, thank you very much, Chairperson. Thank you very much, Honorable Makubela Yalaboha. So going forward, what will then be included in the program will be the following things. One, find space to engage with both big and small players in the industry 
organized and unorganized. Two, a meeting, um, or oh, this one is already done, the, the meeting with the department to deal with this matter of the equity fund. The third one is the oversight visits. And the view is that um, because we postponed the oversight visit to Limpopo, we must uh, proceed with that oversight visit and identify other areas that we need to also visit with the focus in addition on incomplete projects, projects that are still in progress and projects that have collapsed. So when we go to Limpopo as agreed last year, it was that we will split ourselves into all the districts as Honorable Kumbi was suggesting, split ourselves and then be joined by our provincial counterparts. For instance, when we go and meet at the district level, we would want to engage among other things on the relationship between municipalities and the, the water boards, so that indirectly in Tatebaltina, we also deal with this matter of um, meeting with the Department of Water and Sanitation, uh, so that whatever oversight visit we undertake, we engage with the water boards there uh, uh, through the engagement on how municipalities are dealing with matters of tourism and broadly hospitality uh, in general. Uh, there's also, from my side, I will also suggest that, that we add some meeting with all the funding institutions, both private and public, on how they are contributing to the growth of the uh, tourism industry, its sustainability, where there's potential, how do we help uh, that particular potential? Uh, so that it can be strengthened. We will, as Honorable Gumbi was saying, take all the, the necessary precautionary measures into account around uh, COVID-19 so that we, we, we are not reckless, particularly how we are going to travel. I'm sure we will, we will have to take that into account, Honorable Boltina, and the rest of the support Staff that is working with uh, us in the uh, tourism sector. We must also insist that the Baltina, that wherever we go, we need a report in advance on how the risk of contract before we go that it did all the limited. And then we we, we can assure the members that uh, we think all the necessary precautionary measures have been taken into account. Uh, can I then take it on our old members that with those additions, they will be added and then the program can be submitted uh, to the house so that it's included in the program of, of parliament. I take it that we agree that that is our, our, our program. Do we have uh, announcements in the table, Tina? Uh, Chairperson? Yes, sir. Sorry, man, I, I had that raised my hand. There, there was a time where you were cutting Sorry, a little bit. Sorry, I didn't bit. see your hand. No, yeah, no, no you problem. There was a time where you were cutting a little bit, so I'm not sure that you might have um, covered this or something like that. Did Because uh, I had made the one input about the inviting of, of, of all the businesses in private place, so people who are not involved in government and stuff like that. Did you say that the, we must also bring those? Yes. You did touch quite a bit. Okay, cool. That yes, we did. Right. It's part of the way forward, big and small. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Chairperson, okay. can I also, also just make an addition that it's big and small, organized and unorganized? Yes, it's big, small, organized and unorganized. Formal and informal. That's our approach, yeah. Thanks to Narun Makubela for, for that, yeah. Chairperson, it's Honorable Winkler. Yes, Honorable Winkler. Yes, um, I also just wanted to ask about uh, whether you had seen my contribution on the chat about the community tourism organizations and whether we should not have a joint uh, meeting with, I think, representatives from these local 
organizations from across the provinces because um, often they fall by the wayside, but I think that they present huge opportunities to boost tourism um, in their specific areas and perhaps they would benefit from guidance and support and feeling like they have some buy-in um, into uh, you know, the tourism discussion. So perhaps convening a meeting virtually um, with them. Yes, Honorable Winkler, I saw your note. I, I, I hope Dr. Bolton has also seen it. I assumed that it falls in the context of our agreement that we must engage everybody. But for recording, yes, it's included. It's included that uh, that's the category that we'll also have to engage. Thank you. Are we all, are we all okay now, honorable members? Thank Good you very morning, much. Chairperson. Good morning, Chairperson. It's, it's, yes. it's, 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 it's doctor. Yes, Chair. Yes. Yeah, I would like to start by greeting all the members in the room. Uh, maybe I just want to, to make an addition or, or clarity to what the members are suggesting. Uh, the, the oversight, as we proposed it uh, before, maybe members will recall that maybe 90% of the issues that members are raising are issues that uh, will be included in the oversight visits. Uh, let, let's make an example with what we had proposed when we were proposing an oversight visit. Uh, with regard to community organizations, etc., cetera, we were going to, uh, to meet an organization we had already even uh, organized with them uh, that deal with home states, for example, to see how community tourism uh, is being uh, assisted in the Popo. So these issues that become embedded in the program, because if you look at issues such as inviting big and small players, what we normally do in this oversight visit is that we, we, we talk to municipalities and tourism associations in the areas that we are visiting then we then have those people in a meeting where members can then uh, interact with all sorts of tourism players, be it big and small, and they will raise issues uh, that pertain to them in that particular area. Because normally, if we to invite them in a meeting like this, it will normally be your, your organized businesses and members lose the voice of the small players. So we will try as much as possible because we still have to look at the parliamentary program in terms of when the oversight uh, for committees is scheduled. Because normally they will have a slot that is put aside for oversight visits. So uh, members must just assure that when we go to any particular area for oversight, all these issues that members raise uh, will be added. And I'm not sure if Honorable Makubela can even assist in outlining how uh, we, we know, because it's, I, I, I get a feeling that members maybe uh, are concerned that uh, the only part of uh, their work that is being done now is meetings. And the problem that we had as members will recall was the issue of COVID and meetings and of oversight going out there in the field uh, cancelled. But when we get an opportunity, as we'll try and explore and see what is possible now, all these issues become embedded in that which is normally a four-day program. If it becomes embedded in that program, then members will get an opportunity to interact with all these stakeholders and deal with all these issues that have been raised in this meeting. Uh, it's just by a way, Chair, of saying members uh, must rest assured that these issues really are on our right as we in this that we were hamstrung by a limited movement due to COVID. Thank you, Chairperson. Yes, Doctor. Thanks for that. It's, it's exactly going to be like that, Doctor. 
And, uh, but in addition, if there's a need for us to engage with uh, anybody, any structure uh, through uh, Zoom, uh, social platform, that, that opportunity must be availed and we must execute it. So in yes. addition to going physically out, so that we will do as members uh, have suggested. Uh, I don't think we've got any announcements uh, to make. So if that is the case, then this brings us to the end of the meeting. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all the members for their contributions uh, to this program that is going to guide all of us going forward. The meeting stands adjourned. Thanks, honorable members. Enjoy your day. Makubeka, Makubeka. Lizzie. Chair. Thank you, Chair. <laughs> I miss you, Kalipa. I miss you, Kalipa. I also miss you. Yes, I will call you. I miss you too much, my Kalipa. Please. Please. Mr. Katamabala, Honorable Katamabala. Katamabala. Where are you? Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave, Ketamabal. <laughs> Don't leave, my sister. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Babu Stole. Chobe Gamachan. I'm for the Nyak for long before Nyak. I was in Tony. I'm also coming. I'm not going to talk. 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 Thank you.